Oh, that word. All realms and beings have ruined themselves. What's up gamers? Did you enjoy watching the stream yesterday? Clearly this game is hyped to the moon and back. But before you rush to order Black Myth Wukong, let's take a moment to explore the other side of this beautiful mystical world. Today I will give you my hands on review of its PS5 performance and warn you about the potential drawbacks. So whoever was worried about why Game Science didn't give PS5 copies to game journalists for review, Spare the next 10 minutes for this video. This game looks absolutely stunning on PS5 with individual emphasis on graphics, performance or balanced experience mode. While the game can be played in either. For example, current video footage you see has been recorded on graphics mode. The highly criticized balanced experience mode is rare to see in other games. The level of details, the lighting, the textures, it's like a feast for the eyes. And the performance? Well, let's just say Wukong's got some moves that would make a speedrunner blush. We're talking smooth frame rates even in the most chaotic of battles and crowded area. The PS5's SSD ensures lightning fast load times, so you can spend less time waiting and more time monkeying around. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are a few minor hiccups here and there. Some areas might experience slight frame rate drops. I encountered two glitches. One is while fighting an enemy, it went suddenly underground and then got lost somehow. And another one is when sprinting and jumping, I got stuck myself on a tree and no key bindings could help me get out of there. But let's be real. These are minor nitpicks in an otherwise incredible performance. Overall, Black Myth Wukong on the PS5 is a visual masterpiece and these tiny frame rate hiccups mean just nothing. The game's performance is top notch, making it a must play for anyone looking for a stunning and immersive gaming experience. So grab your dual sense and get ready to swing your way to victory. Last but not the least. Let's talk about the overall game experience a little bit more to help you make your purchase decision. The game starts off relatively easy, luring you into a false sense of security. But then, bam, you're facing a boss that's more difficult than a math equation. It's like going from a gentle stroll to a marathon without warming up. The game will punish you if you're not used to the combat eventually. While the combat looks flashy, it can get repetitive after a while. Within the bosses, there are not many things to do as it's a boss rush type of a game. Sometimes there is a possibility to get lost in some locations because there are no maps. Boss cutscenes are non-skippable, unlike Elden Ring. So if you're experiencing a lot of defeats, get ready to bore your eyes with the long cutscenes. So there you have it folks, Black Myth Wukong is a beautiful game with a lot of potential but it's not without its flaws. If you are expecting a flawless masterpiece, you might be disappointed. But if you are willing to overlook a few rough edges for a visually stunning and challenging experience, then it might be worth a try. Let me know in the comments if you have played Black Myth Wukong and what are your thoughts. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more gaming content.